In this video, we'll define matrices. These are a major tool of linear algebra. In fact, in some institutions, this course would be called matrix algebra. When we first see matrices, we'll use them as a tool for studying linear systems, although we'll later see other applications. Definition. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. So, for example, the numbers one, two, three, four, arranged in a square, where the numbers is zero, six, one, two, four, seven, arranged in a rectangle. We surround matrices notationally, either with open parentheses or closed brackets. And unlike interval notation, where parentheses and brackets are different, this matrix with open parentheses and this matrix with closed brackets are the same matrix. It's entirely down to personal preference, which notation you use. A few stray definitions. Matrices have rows. And they have columns. We can talk about how big a matrix is by counting the rows and counting the columns. Definition. The dimension of a matrix is, well, it's the size of the matrix, and that's given as the number of rows cross the number of columns. So this matrix here has two rows and three columns. And its dimension is two by three. This matrix has two rows and two columns. It's a two by two matrix. Some final notational remark. S suppose we have a matrix, say this matrix, and we want to talk about one of its entries. We want to talk about this six, for example. The way this is traditionally done is as follows. You give matrices names, 
that are capital letters, usually, although not always, from the beginning of the alphabet. So we can call this capital A. If we want to talk about one of these numbers, we switch to lower case. And we ask ourselves what row and column this is in. These are the rows. It's in the first row. And we put a one here, comma. These are the columns. And it's in the second column. So a sub one comma two equals six. I think that will about do it for this video. Although of course, we're only beginning our investigation of these objects.